Hey everyone, this is Dr. Jyoti Bala. I welcome you all on my YouTube channel. And this session we will be discussing about some of the crucial tips for approaching a research lab for training and dissertation purpose, especially if you are an undergraduate or master. So let's get started. Firstly, make sure to identify your research interests. Before approaching any research lab, it is important to have a clear idea about your research interests. This will help you to identify labs that align with your interest and increase your chances of finding a suitable lab. In my previous video, I have already mentioned that either you can go to the private, public or industrial based lab. Your research interest could vary, especially if you are undergraduate at that time you might be fluctuating and you are at the stages of exploring. You still have a time to explore by looking at the publication, having discussion with the other mentors and approaching to different labs. So suppose if you are interested in cancer research or virology or bioinformatics, then depending on that, you can look for the lab that focuses on that particular area. Maybe cancer biology, oncology. Depending on that, you may approach a particular lab. Areas like cancer biology, virology, bioinformatics, these are broad areas. Suppose you are interested in cancer biology. You can either go to the labs who are working on the basic cancer research or maybe diagnostic, therapeutics, biosensor, biomarker. So the area is huge. You have to narrow down. The second point is always do research about the potential lab. Especially by the end of master, most of the students are aware of their research interest. But for those students who are at the undergraduate level, it is still very important for them to read about the publication, see the latest trend, what is happening in the research areas, and then try to research about the potential lab. Once you have identified your research interest, either based on the current trends or maybe based on the current job market. Once it is identified, then you can start researching about the potential lab that matches with your interest. Look for the information on the lab research project, publication, recent discovery, who are the supervisor or the lab groups who are working on such subject area and check their website and see what are their publication and at what front these scientists are working. If you are interested in diagnostic sector or biomarker or these days omic based cancer projects, then you can find out those particular labs and then you can approach them. Third, try to participate in seminar and conferences. Because while attending these conferences at the professional platform, you will get the chance to meet the professionals and the professors and scientists over there. And once you are either presenting your poster or maybe interacting with them, you can show them your interest of joining their lab. So by attending the seminar and conference related to your research interests can help you to network with the other researcher and learn about new development in your field. So once you are done with the networking and researching about the research interest, research labs, reach out to the principal investigator, scientist or lab director to express your interest in joining their lab. And yes, very important, prior to that, make sure to have a proper customized CV before reaching and before contacting them. Make sure to include your customized CV, show them your research interest and also relevant experience which are overlapping. So, for example, you can write an email to the particular professor and scientist and mention them that you are doing a master or undergraduate in biotechnology and you are interested in joining their lab to gain the research experience in a particular subject area, say cancer research, cancer biology, virology, etc. You can also mention that you have attached the recent CV of yours and brief them about the summary of your research interests and relevant experience in that particular paragraph. Make sure this uh, the language should not sound journal, it should be customized and finally you can thank them for considering your application. And while you are doing these kind of networking, researching and applying to these positions, try to do the preparation of your interview on Palette. If you are invited for an interview, make sure to prepare by researching the lab research project, the recent publication, and what are the relevant techniques and technology these people are using. This will help you not only into your interview, but also this will help you to ask informed questions and demonstrate your interest in the lab. 
you may say that you have read the recent paper on the cancer immunotherapy or cancer research and was impressed by the result and publication and always be open to learning new techniques. Research lab often use specialized techniques and equipment that you may not have encountered in your coursework. Be open to learning new techniques and ask questions. And finally, it is very important to be stay motivated. Research can be challenging and sometimes frustrating, but it's important to stay motivated and focus on your research goal. Celebrate small success and seek guidance from your mentor when needed. So in conclusion, I would suggest you to like first choose the research interest. Based on that, do a little bit of homework and do the networking so that you can approach to the research labs and relevant supervisor. Make sure to do some homework and background check about those labs. Like what are their publication, what are the technology and instrument, what kind of work they are doing, whether they are aligning with your research interest. Then professionally approach either you can go personally or via email you can approach them and show your interest in joining their lab and learning and on parallel do your interview preparation and if possible try to do either online or on-site certification courses related to the techniques or the subject area which you are going to explore on those labs so that you are going to feel confident in the lab while doing the experiments. I hope you have liked the session. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel and do share these information among your scientific endeavors. Thank you.